We are inside and under the roof tonight here at Rogers Center in Toronto, Ontario. It's the opener of this three-game series between the Boston Red Sox and the Toronto Blue Jays. Toronto hope to put a lid on their seven-game losing streak. Coming up next... Thomas Pannone gets the call for game one of the series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, looking at the numbers, you can see this guy had an ERA over four last season. He'd like to do a lot better than that. He's got to do a much better job of keeping base runners off the bases. Cut the walks down and try to limit the hits per nine innings pitched. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. And we are set for baseball here this Andrew. evening. Benintendi. First pitch on its way. First of three here on this Tuesday night as the game's first offering is taken for strike one. Well, guys, as the Jays take the field here tonight, they have not been playing all that well, to put it charitably, as they come into this one losers of seven straight games. The wind up and the 0 1. Nope. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. And this will miss as well. So he's in danger of losing the leadoff man here tonight. It's three and one now. The three one he is in there for a full count now three and two full count three and two the next three two lined hard toward right center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And this will get all the way out toward the 375 sign now. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. That's what you want your leadoff hitter to do every time. He wastes a lot of pitches, makes the pitcher work, then to cap it off, he drives one for a double. That might be one of the best at bats we'll see all game long. Stepping into the box, Dustin Pedroia looking to get something to the right side with that leadoff man at second to start the ball game. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Fastball too high to start him out here. One and zero. Time to take a look at the umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Mike Fillmore. Hey, Dero. Mike Fillmore, one of the most consistent umpires throughout the league. Both pitchers and position players love this guy. Yeah, I think one of the best in the business. How I judge a good teammate is every day he opens that door. Is he consistent? Can I count on him? Mike Fillmore is the exact same way behind the dish. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. 3 and 0 to him now. a strike as he'll try to work his way back it's three and one we're seeing quite a few pitches up from him right now and that can obviously be dangerous a cold strike there but he might need to lower his sights a little bit the three one and he misses there for ball four so runners are at first and second now with nobody out batting third the right fielder Mookie. So now the Jays manager will make his way out toward the mound. 
And we're going to see a pitching change as that's going to do it for his starter here tonight. So his game is done and we'll have to check his reaction because I just don't understand why you make this move in the first inning. You're Sam Gavilio comes on now in an now awfully difficult DJ. situation as there are two Number on here with nobody out. Sam Gavilio. Mookie Betts will be his first test out of the bullpen and it'll be a tough test indeed as he'll face him with two on and nobody out here. the stretch now a good pitch around the knees but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone and some action now in the Toronto bullpen as a right hander starts to get loose Benintendi over at second Pedroia on at first with nobody out and a slider stays outside and he falls behind two and oh well, I know the last thing he wants to do is load the bases right here, so the pressure is on right now to get back in the strike zone. Up and in. Big danger now. It's 3-0. second and that's through for a base hit and they're content to play station to station here as the bases are loaded now with still cool. nobody out but to say this good. game has not started the way the pitcher wanted it to would be an understatement to say the least but he can't worry about the mistakes he made here he just has to get himself out of it easier said than done as the cleanup man steps in next Here's J.D. Martinez, and what a season he's having. Entering play, leading the league in two of the three triple crown categories. Guy's having a monster year, leading in two of the three triple crown categories. Top five in RBIs, if he can improve on that, he has a legit shot to win the crown. First pitch of the at-bat. Comes at him with the slider there, and he gets the strike. The pitcher has to find a way to minimize damage here. Maybe take two outs for one run. Who cares? Get a double play, pop up, strike out. Something to get you back in this inning. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. The one one home. Line shot to third base. And now here's how the visiting Red Sox line up in this one. Dan Plezak, who are you focused on? Well, one thing's for sure. They love what Mookie Betts brings to their offense. He's coming off a nice month where he had eight home runs. That's like two every week. If you could throw out two every week, you're going to have big numbers at the end of the year. And that's what he did last month. It showed me a lot about who he is and the power he has. Now batting Xander Bogarts for his career in this matchup. He's four for 13. First delivery to him on the way. Popped up. Smoke is there. And that's the second out of the inning. So striding forward now Chris Taylor he carries the eighth best average in the American League entering play. There's no way you could have forecasted this kind of season from this guy not to take anything away from him but I don't think many people in baseball considered him to be one of the league's best hitters for average coming into this year. Here comes the first pitch. 
hit to first. Fielded cleanly, and he'll take it to the bag himself. And a great job of pitching out of the bases loaded situation as the side is retired. Red Sox leave them loaded. Red Sox nothing. Blue Jays coming to bat. Major League Baseball on the show. Nate Valdi, a right-hander from the state of Texas, is the man on the mound here. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, Matt, it's not easy to bunch anything together against this guy. In his last three starts, he has a whip of under 1.10. So we may see some hit and run. We may see some bunting. And we may see some running. Because if you want to lay around and try to get hits off this guy, to go. that's not Let's the right thing to do. One of the, the top pitchers field. in the game right now. Kevin. Into the box now, oh, Kevin Pillar. Oh. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. First pitch fastball in there for a called strike. Guys, this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. They've had it going the last 10 games. They're seven and three over that stretch, including a win last time out. Yeah, Matty, I know five and three is nothing to uh, you know get super excited about, but it could have easily gone 500. One key hit doesn't come through or find a gap, and they find themselves four and four to start this road trip. Instead, five and three on the recent homestand, they're feeling pretty confident about where they're at. Swing and a liner. Foul. The one two. Again, he sends it out of play. The one two. And he fouls this one off. To two balls and two strikes now. Tough to take a pitch like that right there, especially in a one two count. You almost get in that auto swing mode. Great job to work the count back to even. Fly ball right down the line and left. Waiting on it is Benintendi. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. With that, let's that take a look at the Blue Jays starting lineup. Who's the one to watch, Never. Dan? Well, I know they're hoping to get more production from the seven hole these days. He went 0 for 4 last game, and I just didn't like the way he went about it. Looked like they completely overpowered him, and, and that's not something we're used to seeing out of this guy. Hopefully, he'll be able to put that behind him. So the base is empty here with one away, and that'll bring up Devin Travis. First pitch of the at bat. Lays off 1 and 0. Started to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. hit on the line. Nice piece of hitting right there. He obviously recognized Cutter Daddy away, Cutter. stayed inside it, was able to drive it the Red other Red. way. Glory. Brandon Drury will bat next. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Here's the 0 1. Zero. Uh, he just ramps up and gears the fastball by him. 0 and 2. That's a well placed fastball right there just off the outside. If you can get guys to expand the strike zone and go after that pitch you're going to have a lot of success. No luck that time though. Working for the punch out and the offering down and away it's a ball and two strikes. The one two fouled off. Travis a runner at first with one gun in the inning. Yeah. 
tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Now a flare out to left center. Coming in is Benintendi, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. But now a throw from the outfield will get him. How slow can you be? Oh, that man, I don't know how that happened. Base Looked base. to be a base hit to the Down outfield, there. but then all of a sudden the throw Ball. comes in and they get the force on the play. To be honest, that just can't happen. Here's Justin Smoke now as he'll take a look at ball one that batting average hovering in the high 230s and even 20 home runs and 62 driven in. The 1 0 home is laid off for ball two. That's the kind of pitch that reminds me of many reasons why I wasn't a very good hitter. This thing was inside and coming in hot, and he just gave a stone-cold take. I'm bailing out of the way if I'm in the box, no doubt about it. Three and oh now. If I'm managing this hitter right here, he doesn't even have to look down at the third base coach. You know he's got the green light. He's one of the best hitters in your lineup. Fouled away. Two out with the man at first. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Oh, man, I think this walk is going to grind at him for a bit. He just missed. And now the inning continues with a man in scoring position. So stepping in, Rowdy Tellez, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. He's set and the pitch. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Evaldi, it's a guy who throws a lot of strikes, rarely walks people, but what does bite him occasionally is the home run ball. Matt, this is a guy that's not a power type of pitcher, so he needs to rely on being down in the strike zone. One of the keys, he tends to lose being aggressive when he falls behind, and he kind of nibbles around the strike zone, and what happens with that, Matty V, he becomes very predictable, and when you don't have overpowering stuff, you tend to be able to get hit hard. Two and one. Boy, this hole he's digging on the mound is all his doing. If you can't throw strikes, you're not going to be out there very long. That's bounced foul. It's two and two. He set the two two. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. I don't think he can afford another base runner here. So whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. Frozen on the fastball. Never had a chance. And the inning is over. Blue Jays leave a pair. We are still scoreless. Into the box now, Steve Pierce. He'll get us started in the top the of the second. Number 25, Steve Pierce. First pitch of the at bat on its way. High and deep to right. Richard going back to the track. 
Now this will rattle up against the wall. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And the Red Sox have something going. It's a leadoff double. Talk about starting off the inning with a bang. Goodness. When this thing left the bat, I thought it was out of here. And I think he might have, too. Only made it to the warning track, but he glides into second base with a leadoff double. Rafael Devers the next to bat as he'll look at a slider that runs in too far for ball one. A runner at second nobody out. Sinker stays outside and is behind now two and zero. Oh. Well, here's a guy we know is swinging it pretty well at the plate lately, and based on those last two pitches, I think I know why. He's doing a great job of putting himself at counts where he's likely to be successful. Now the 2-0. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But a foul ball, and it's 2-1 and one now. Now the 2-1 pitch. Sent foul again, and after being way ahead, now it's even at two and two. Pitch in the dirt, and that gets away. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. A runner in scoring position with none out. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. He loses him on ball four. Batting nine. The catcher, number five. Ready now, Sandy Leon. His prior history in this matchup. He's got a three for five line. First offering on its way. Nope. Off the plate and low here, ball one. Leon is considered one of the best defensive catchers in the game today. He often gets praise for his work behind the plate, and I know a lot of pitchers have made it clear that his presence back there adds a level of comfort that not many others can replicate. And, Matty, I don't know if... Uh, not fooled there as this ball's hammered out to deep right field. And that is off the wall in right field. When this thing left the bat, I thought it had three run homer written oh, all over it, but it bounces off the, the wall, so only one Andrew. run scores. And now ben a chance for his buddy to return the favor and bring in one or maybe two. Into the box now, Andrew Benintendi lifted the other way down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Devers on third. Leon is at second with nobody out. Slap hard the opposite way. Lays himself out and makes a spectacular catch. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. Boy, this one looked like it was headed for extra bases off the bat. Instead, a line drive bullet caught in the alley, but he does end up getting a sacrifice fly. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. First pitch on its way. Right there for strike one. And 
the 0 1. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Still only one out in the inning. Edge of the zone that time taken and ruled a strike. The one two hit softly on the ground to third. Rury has it. Throw on to first will take care of Pedroia, and there are two away. Now with the plate, Mookie Betts, runner in scoring position with two gone. Set. He's ready. Here's the first offering. In there at the knees, strike one. You know, I think this is a big situation in this game. They've got to lead by a couple of runs, but they don't want to look back on this inning when this one's over and think that they left some runs out there on the base path. Scoring more here would be huge. Comes set and the 0-1. Taken, strike two. That's back-to-back -back pitches taken for strikes. Puts himself in a bad spot. 0-1-2, let's see if he can battle back in this A-B. Here's a bouncing ball and a chance for Guriel. It's short. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. On now to the bottom of the second. It's the Red Sox two, the Jays nothing. Here's Randall Gritchick, and he'll be looking to change his fortunes in this one. He's seen his numbers take a bit of a dive in recent action. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. First pitch coming. Here it is. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. A splitter, but he started it too low as it bounces up to the plate. Now with the 2-0 count and the power at the plate, it could be fireworks time. This is the kind of count he makes his money in. Outside and low, 3-0. He walked the guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. Well, that is definitely not the way to start an inning. One thing to give up a walk, but to do it on four pitches is pretty alarming. He looks a little thrown off right now. So that'll bring in Teoscar Hernandez. He'll be looking for better results in this one. He was 0 for 4 in the ball game back on Sunday. Set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Late that time for a strike. From the belt, kicks and deals. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. Any hitter will tell you that a shot like that just feels Loaded. different. It sounds different off the Boy, bat. Yeah. See his arms get extended. Right arm tucked up against his body. Barrel the bat all over the ball. And he smokes it right off the wall at left center. A little more hang time. And that one probably gets out of here. Coming to the plate now. Number 13. And he's looking to make something happen here with two on and nobody out. Well, early in the count, expect him to look for a ball to drive. If he gets two strikes against him, he'll need to change his plan and focus on moving the runners up. This game is too close to get greedy. Now 
has a look now the pitch. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. On its way the 0 1 pitch and that's in there as well 0 and 2 now. This is where as a batter you got to find a way to put something in the outfield get something elevated. I know you got to battle with two strikes and protect but if anything is belt or above you got to swing. Blue Jays shortstop with a one and two count. I have no issue wasting a pitch on 0 and 2 to try to get a guy to go fishing but it has to be somewhat tempting. You're not going to get anyone to swing at a bat at that pitch. The one two still one and two Richard the runner at third Hernandez stands at second no outs still a ball and two strikes Count still at one and two. Hey, I don't mind you throwing a fastball in this situation, but I think if we're being honest with ourselves, that one caught a little bit too much of the plate. He'll try again, one, two. And that's high for a ball. It's two and two. Wow, that's 40 pitches for him already. This doesn't have the makings of a start that he's going to go very deep. towards second but Pedroia there to pull it in and that's the first down. All right let's take a quick that look at how the Red Sox set up on D today. And let's take a look at outfielder Mookie Betts. You can make the argument he's the most dynamic player in our sport. Don't try and come inside with a fastball because it's getting turned around. But I don't think people realize how good he patrols the outfield. The ability to play all three positions with speed and a bazooka for an arm. So striding in Reese McGuire as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Here's the first pitch to him. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Swung on and missed. Oh, I love facing pitchers like this. He's leaving nothing to the imagination. Coming to get him some. Line drive to left. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. And the tying run comes around to score from second. It's now a 2-2 ball game. You know, D-Row, even though we're that's early in this field. one, being Double down by two, it. that's a huge base yeah, hit man. to tie things up. Yeah, oh, this offense oh. won't quit, Dan. They're going to give their pitcher every chance. They were able to fight back and get it back to even. We got a new ball game on our hands. Standing in now, Kevin Pillar. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and zero. So far, 0 for one with a flyout. One zero count. Here it is, and this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. It's a ball and a strike. Line toward right center. In there, a base hit. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one out single. 
Hey, this guy's been slumping at the plate. Saw his average fall below 240 prior to this at bat. That knock had to feel good. Stepping in now, Devin Travis, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. And they're runners at the corners now. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. Not a surprise to see that low splitter there. Anything with downward movement like that is going to be at the top of the list in a double play situation. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Devin Travis. With two strikes and the runners at the corners, this is a big pitch coming up. Got to execute to hope to either get a strikeout or a double play ball to help you get out of this thing. Runners are at first and third, one away. High fly ball out to straightaway center. On the move is Taylor. He gets there to make the catch, but this should bring home a run as the runner tags from third. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. It's a three to two ball game. One of the things you want to do as an offense, right, is stay fundamental and keep pushing. A great job there. Sack fly pushes the third run across in this inning. Ready for another chance. Brendan Drury reached by way of a fielder's choice his first time around. Here comes the first pitch. Strike taken up in the zone. You know, Matty, when I first broke into the league, you wouldn't see that high heater first pitch right out of the gate. But I think there's been a change in, in philosophy here. Back in the late 90s, early 2000s, guys wanted to attack you more east-west, get you leaning left-right. Now you're seeing guys attack in the philosophy more north-south. Just with launch angles and exit velocities, I think guys are afraid to throw that sink and fastball for fear that guys are just going to run their barrel into it. Not the case with the high fastball. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. The 1 1 is taken for ball two. Well, his pitch count has really spiked here in this inning. He's up to over 50 already. Three and one. Well, this has been a long inning already, and I know he doesn't want it to get any longer. I expect a challenge pitch right here. Three runs already home here. Into the corner and slicing foul. All right, 3-2 count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving, so we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Full count still. The next 3-2. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Dan, are you kidding me right there? I mean, that had to whistle oh, past this guy's ear. That was a scary the moment. Right there. They call that the old yeah. chuck and duck, right? That was really oh. close. And that's one of the things that most pitchers fear, that line drive that zips right by your head. Wow, that was awful close. Riding in once again, Justin Smoke. Three across so far in the inning, and another two out there on base. Yeah, Matt, and this inning's really starting to get away from them on the defensive side of the ball. Stranding the rest of those guys out here feels absolutely essential for them at this point. 
from the stretch. Here's the pitch. Sharp ground ball to third. The second, but they throw it away. And he'll come in to score from second base, and that is a direct result, obviously, of that 4-4 four, four throw. And as a former pitcher, I can tell you, nothing is more painful than having to get extra outs in an inning. That should have been out number three there. Instead, he has to refocus and get back to work. Rowdy Tellez the next to bat. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. Chase the fastball there, but he lays off one and two. Wow, that's a tough pitch to take. 0 oh, 2 fastball just off the corner, and I mean just off the corner. The one two he is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday night baseball after this. For the plate now is the designated hitter, J.D. Martinez. As we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Martinez. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And right into the shift. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. The wind up and the 0 1. Bullet back up the middle. Pilar is there and he has it for the first out. The Good bat. contact Number to start two. out the inning. Short Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but Boca. it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Here's Xander Bogarts now. Oh, and he hung the slider here, and it's a towering drive out to deep left field. This ball is gone. A home run. It's a solo shot for Xander Bogarts. Number 21 for him on the season as it's trimmed to a 4-3 game now. This is the first home run of the game, but the bats are definitely alive for both teams tonight. There have been a ton of hits already. These pitchers might want to duck and cover if things continue this way. The center field. In now, Chris Taylor. Chris. Taylor. Yes, he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Now the 1 0 finds the zone strike one. Line drive the left. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. The first baseman, number 25, Steve Pierce. Riding in for Boston, Steve Pierce. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach to A.B. First pitch coming. Here it is. Back up the middle to his left. Buriel. Throw on to smoke at first, and the side is retired. Red Sox get a run on the solo shot by the X-Man, Xander Bogarts. Bottom of the third coming up. It's the Blue Jays four and the Red Sox three. Back now here at Rogers Center, and here's Heidi. 
Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Blue Jays to discuss his thoughts on his team's lineup so far. And one thing he mentioned is how well they're doing it, simply putting the ball in play. We looked into the numbers, and as a team, they've had a contact rate of over 85% in this game, meaning that when they swing the bat, they're missing the ball less than 15% of the time. To put that into context, the very best teams in baseball usually are right around 80% for an entire season. So at least for today, they're just playing an amazing ability to put wood to ball. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. We're only in the third inning, and his pitch count is above 60. That's not being too efficient with your pitches. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. And it's fouled away. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout and there's one gone. Now batting left fielder. So one away here with the bases empty and striding into the plate next will be Teoscar Hernandez. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Slider finds the zone for a strike. This has popped up. And there's the second out as he squeezes it in the coach's box. The batter number 13. So bases Good are job. empty here with two gone. Morning. And that brings up the exciting oh, yeah. Lewis Guriel Jr. First delivery to him on the way. Pitch taken several oh, inches oh, below the zone, in fact. Two out, nobody on. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Popped him up. Pedroia has a play. No trouble with this one and the inning is over. One two three go the Blue Jays. But they hang on to a one run lead four to three. Now at the plate, Rafael Devers. Off, He'll try to get it going here to begin the, the fourth. Rafael Devers. Here comes the first pitch. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate umpire. Grounded to first. Smoke gloves it, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And up next, it'll be the catcher, Sandy Leone. First pitch on its way. High and deep to center field. Ranging back is Pilar. Still ranging back. Out of here to the deepest part of the yard. So it's a solo shot to dead center. Home run number five on the year as that'll pull him even at four apiece. On the mound, he might have let up a little bit knowing the fact he was facing the nine hitter, but you just can't do that. Goes to show there are no weaknesses in any of these lineups. Into the box now, Andrew Benintendi. Andrew. As the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. Swing and he pops him up. Coming in is Hernandez, but this will land untouched. Three. 
hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Pilar's there, and that's the second out of the inning. Ready the for another shot 15. now. Dustin Fedroya. He got on top of Justin. one and was a ground out victim last Fedroia. time. First pitch of the at bat. He'll start him with a sinker here, but that sinks a bit too much that time. It's one and oh. A shot to first base and caught there to end the inning. But the Red Sox tie things up on the solo homer. Bottom of the fourth coming up. All even now at four apiece. Riding into the box, Reese McGuire. He set to lead us Leading off in the off. home half of the fourth inning. The catcher, number 10. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. That's Below the, the knees, one ball, no strikes. Been a real big struggle for him so far on the mound. Four runs and only three innings. So it'll be interesting to see if he can settle in at all and make some adjustments or if this start will continue to run downhill. Line shot to first, and there's one away. The center fielder, number 11, Kevin. Now back to the top oh, of the lineup, oh. stepping in, Kevin Pilar. He's one for two in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Oh, and that one slung through the strike zone that time at 98, 0 and 1. Some action out in the bullpen, couple of right handers starting to loosen up. Swing and a blooper to the right side. Bet's coming on. He can't get to it. This one's down. Boy, you see that happen quite a bit at the big league level, d -Row. Breaking ball the up and away. Hit for a bullet for yeah, a base man. hit. Yeah, Dan, you try and look for oh, it to really? pop out above the pitcher's hand. That usually signifies that it's going to be something breaking. That was actually a slider. So nice job by the offensive player. Not only recognizing it, but not trying to do too much. Standing in now, Devin Travis. He swings and misses. Throw down. Uh, the throw pulls him off the bag. We all know this team is struggling right now. They're on a losing streak. So when that's the case, sometimes you need to be a little bit more aggressive and try to put some pressure on your opponents. Stolen bases are a good way of doing that. So we'll see if it pays off on the scoreboard for him right now. Oh, and one count and the pitch hit the other way out toward right field. Betts is right there as he takes it for the second out. Two are gone now in the Blue Jays half of the fourth. And in the back next, it'll be Brandon Rory. Rory. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Ready with the 0 and 1. Now a fastball off the plate away, a ball and a strike. Here's the 1 1. There's a foul ball off to the right side, and that'll move the count to one and two. From the stretch, the one-two. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Blue Jays held in check through four. We're tied at four. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. 
Well, Matt, I talked with manager Alex Cora during the break about his thoughts on the Red Sox hitters to this point. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said they're doing an excellent job with pitch selection, meaning they're swinging at the right pitches and doing damage with them. The numbers back that up. Five extra base hits on the stat sheet, guys. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Here's Mookie Betts. One for two on his line so far in the game. Mookie. Betts. First pitch on its way. Ground ball left side. And that'll get by into left field, so he's on to lead off the inning. Hey, another leadoff knock right there. This game has been full of offense, full of traffic on the base pass. Let's see who's going to get that big double in the gap to clear him. Into the box, J.D. Martinez. As he'll take a look at a slider in the dirt, and it's ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Ready with the 1 0. And 2 0 as this one's taken low. Betts gets his lead at first, nobody out. Too tight with that one. Three and zero. Oh. This inning hasn't started ideally for him on the mound, but here on three and zero, oh, you have to have the mentality that you're only a strike and or a ground ball double play away from getting back on track. Halfway to 100 pitches, here it is. And that misses for ball four. And it's first and second now with nobody out. Huge innings have begun with much less, I can tell you that. First and second, no out. And the guy on the bump really needs a strikeout or a double play right here. Digging in and looking for more, Xander Bogarts. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. First pitch of the at bat. Nope. Looked like the sinker there dipped a little below the knees. Fifth inning here of a tie ball game, four to four. And that's in there for his strike one and one. Now the one and one pitch is strike two swinging. Ground ball sent back up the middle. He's got it. One there. The smoke at first and they get him both. Oh that's a rally killer right there. They were in great shape with two on and nobody out. But the double play is the last thing you want in that situation. Just a runner at third now, but there's two outs. In now, Chris Taylor. And on the first pitch, he hits it in the air to right. Richard is under it. He hauls it in, and the potential go-ahead run will not come around to score. One left for the Red Sox to the bottom of the fifth halfway home all even at four. Standing in Justin Smoke he was able to reach base thanks to an error in his last at bat. Infield in the overshift here now the pitch. 
in there for strike one, 0 oh and one. Well, he's still out there to start the fifth inning, but it's been a real grind of a start for him. The pitch count is much higher than he'd like it to be, so it's hard to imagine him working really deep into this game. And a pitch in one the dirt one. as he lays off. It's one and one. A two and one count to the Blue Jays first baseman. Into the windup here comes the 2 2 pitch and it's up to a 3 2 full count now. What a great battle to start this inning. What a great job by the leadoff hitter. He knows that this pitcher's starting to get up there in pitches. The manager's starting to get restless. Let's see if we can knock him out and get into that bullpen. Swing and a miss and he'll start the fifth the same way he ended the fourth with a punch out one away. Offense apparently not hard now to come it. by tonight as Number you get a look at our line score through the first half of the ball game and boy the runs have been coming fast and furious so far. Here comes the Red Sox manager up out of the dugout on his way to the mound and a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. So he'll head for an early shower as he fails to go the requisite five innings but it doesn't matter anyway in a tie game he'll leave with a no Ladies decision. Erasmo Ramirez 5 10 right now hander comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Number 31 Erasmo Ramirez. Next will be the designated hitter, Rowdy Tellez. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. He's set. Here it comes. Starts him out with a changeup for a strike. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Nope. And he lays off That's for bad. ball one. The 1-1. One, one. And he fouls this one off. Lifted the other way to left center. Chasing after it is Taylor. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Offense apparently not hard to come by tonight as you get a look at our line score right through the first Number half of the ball 15. game and boy the runs have Brando. been coming fast and furious so far. Striding in Randall Gritchick comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First pitch on its way. First pitch hack in here and that's the first strike. Now the 0 1 swing and a liner but foul four runs six hits and no errors in the game for Toronto. The next 0 2 misses, and that'll move it to 1 and 2 now. The 1 2 is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Blue Jays go down in order. Five innings complete. This ball game's even at 4 and 4. Mark Leiter Jr. takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Here's Steve Pierce now. One for two in the ballgame thus far. The first baseman. 
the year. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And he starts him out with a splitter for a called strike. I mean, that's almost an unhittable pitch right there. The downward action of that nasty split finger, add in the velocity in the high 80s, you ain't doing much with that. One ball, one strike, the count. Two and one to the Red Sox first baseman. Two two doesn't get the zone count full now. Here's a bouncing ball and a chance for Guriel. It's short. Throw to first gets in, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now to the plate, Rafael Devers. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Devers. First pitch of the at bat. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. Yeah, guys, the key to hitting in the big leagues is to hit off the heater. And this guy is obviously sitting something else. The wind up and the 0 1. Nope. And there's ball one. one you one. know he wants that on the mound, especially if it would have made the count 0 and 2. Didn't get it though, so now you have to make another quality pitch on one and one. The one one misses ball two. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Line drive to left. But this will hang up just long enough to be run down in shallow left for a tough second out. Number five, Sandy Leon. Stepping up now, Sandy Leon. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. First pitch fastball in there for a called strike. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. But it bends just foul into the second deck. The one and two pitch. And a breaking First ball break. runs in and gets him. And I doubt there was any intent behind that. And I'm sure that yeah, one that. stings a little bit. The best revenge he can Andrew. get for his pain is to find a way to come around to score. We'll see if his guys can move him around the bases. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And up next, the exciting left-handed bat of Andrew Benintendi. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Here's a cold strike about thigh high. Nothing in one. Line towards center field. And that's in there. Base hit. Boy, what looked like a quick inning gets the first two the out, then it hit by pitch, Second and a single to keep things going. Yeah, you never know what's going to start a rally. Take one for the boys. Hit by pitch right there. Now a couple good ABs, and we're on the board. Into the box now, Dustin Pedroia, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. No hits to this point. The 1 0. Fastball just inside. Interesting sequence of pitches right there. A real ugly swing on a ball away, and it looks like the batter has a much better idea of what he's looking for after that second pitch. Hey. 
right. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. You get yourself into count leverage 2-0 right there. You're looking to come unglued on something and be very aggressive. That ball had to nip the corner for him not to pull the trigger on it. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. And the throw to first will be in time, so the Red Sox come up empty, and the inning is over. Boston strands a couple through five and a half. We're tied at four. Late to Oscar Hernandez. He doubled four, earlier two, in the game, one for two to field. this point. Day Oscar Hernandez. Come on, let's go. Here's the first pitch to him, oh, and a fastball right. close, but ultimately ruled a ball, a one and zero. Oh. Two and zero oh to the Jays left fielder. The 2 0 takes this the other way to right and a base hit so the leadoff man is aboard. This is the cat and mouse of baseball right here. Batter versus pitcher. Batter. You fight Good so stop. hard as an offensive Morning. player to get count leverage. 1 0, oh, yeah. 2 0, oh, 3 1. Check out the batting averages in those counts and then check out the batting averages in even and behind counts with two strikes. 2 0, oh, your eyes light up and the batter didn't miss it. A look now the pitch heading out towards shallow right on the move is bets he can't get there as it falls in and that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now now batter these guys Number are in perfect bet. position to break through right here and to take the lead there is without question nothing tougher than back to back singles you don't know if they're going to bunt you don't know they can do so they have so many options at their disposal right now. Stepping in now, Reese McGuire. Now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. And a good decision there to sweep this away in foul territory and make him try it again. Sacrifice attempt here. To second for one, but he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. The center fielder digging in, Levin. Kevin Pilar. Kevin. He's got runners at the corners here with oh. only one go. Oh. From the stretch, and here's a fastball called for strike one. that misses inside one and two now these are the situations right here that make me miss wearing a uniform the big spot the cat and mouse of what's he going to throw I'm down one two can I battle back the pitcher's trying to put me away this is what the game's all about as a look now the pitch and he strikes out and oh boy all he needed was a fly ball somewhere to give him the lead but instead there are two gone now. Well there's a the great the equalizer the change of El like Cambio. Base. Listen yeah, if you can keep that pitch in your back pocket yeah, and pull yeah. it out when you need it like he did right there. Usually hitters they don't stand a chance. Standing in now Devin Travis as he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half it's 0 and 1. He's working on a one for two game so far.
Ready with the 0-1. And low, it's a ball and a strike. Here's the 1-1 one, one. down the third baseline. But a foul ball, one and two now. The one-two pitch. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Taylor is there. He hauls it in, and the potential go-ahead run will not come around to score. Blue Jays leave a pair. Six innings are in the books, all square, four to four. Back here at Rogers Center in Toronto. We're off to the seventh inning now, but first let's have a look at our game summary to see how we got here. Digging in, Mookie Betts is looking for hit number three here in this at bat. Mookie Betts. First offering on its way. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. And that's right there, and we're even at one. Now the one and one pitch. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and oh, blows smoke by a guy at the letters. The that's the hitter. ultimate challenge pitch. And for me personally, Martin watching man. hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. Striding forward now is the DH, J.D. Martinez. He's hitless coming into this at bat, so the hit streak he's been riding is on the line here. Yeah, he's up in the double digits with it. You know he wants to keep it going as long as possible, but this very well could be the last chance to do that. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. and Four runs, eight hits, and one error on the Boston line score. Grounder down the line at third. Over to Smoke at first, and there are two away. The batter, number two. Stepping in, Xander Bogarts. He homered back in the third inning in this one. Here comes the first pitch. There's a fastball missing down and away for a ball, 1 and 0. Fouled off. Here's the one and one delivery. Now a swing as he shoots this down the right field line. And now it'll kick around in the corner. Wow, I'm shocked he even pulled the trigger on that pitch. He might have been fooled right there, but he was able to keep his hands back and scramble a good pitch for a base hit. Into the box, Chris Taylor, as he'll send a ground ball down to third. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And a great job to stick with it as he's able to make the play for the third out. One hit, one left. Bottom of the seventh. Get up and stretch here in Toronto. And we are tied 4-4. Ryan Brazier gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Stepping in, Brandon Drury. He'll try and get something started in the home half of the seventh. The third baseman, Brandon Drury.
First pitch coming. Here it is. A ball and no strikes. Changeup stays outside and he's behind 2 and 0. Ready with the 2 0 pitch. Too high. And it's 3 and 0. Well, he was definitely looking fastball here and he got one, but that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3 0 count. And he lays off the four. Now the potential go ahead run is on base here. Man, when the game is tied, the last thing you can Got afford that. to do is first wait the leadoff hitter. Got to focus there. on getting that ground ball now. And now the Toronto number four hitter, Justin Smoke, 0 for 2 with a walk for him so far. Here comes the first pitch. The slider is laid off on the inside as it just misses the zone. Well, count now 1 and 0 with a real good slugger up at the plate. This is the time as a pitcher, you have to really make some good pitches. This is not the time to just groove one right down the middle. And he lays off for a ball, 2 and 1. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Here now the 2 2. Fouled away. I would say the pitcher would tell us up here that that wasn't great execution, but he definitely had him off balance. That is a pitch in his arsenal that he can go to. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Go ahead, runs aboard here at first with nobody out. Hit hard up the middle. And Pedroia will stretch, but it's into center field for a base hit. Bro will hold him at second, but the go-ahead runs in scoring position now with still nobody out. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dad. Sent it back right where it came from. Coming forward now, the Toronto designated hitter, Rowdy Tellez. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, he, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind him because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. He's set and the pitch. Change up called strike one. Hey, when one of your better pitches is the straight changeup, you can't be afraid to throw it at any count and at any time. And hey, first pitch, if they're going to take it for strike one, they're going to give it to you. Go ahead and throw it. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. That's why you call a challenge fastball right there, boys. I don't know if he was necessarily trying to miss up in the zone like he did, but he got away with it right there and put the fastball by him. In the air now, out to left. Waiting on it is Benintendi. Makes the play, one away. So it's a tight spot here. First and second, one man out, and the big right-handed bat of Randall Grichuk saunters into the batter's box next. First offering on its way. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Betts has a read on it. Two down. Next to bat for Toronto, Oscar Hernandez. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. set here's the nothing and nothing pitch in on the hands a bit with the fastball it's one and oh yeah. 
a ball and a strike. Yeah, this guy's having a good day right there. You can tell he is all over. His timing is spot on. This pitching staff is going to have to find a way to attack him a little differently. The set and the 1 1. Chopped toward the second baseman. Up with the ball is Pedroia. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. No runs, a hit, two left. Eighth inning coming up, and we are tied 4 4. Digging in to try it again. Steve Pierce. He's working on a 1 for 3 thus far. Steve Pierce. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Nope. Fastball well outside. And a strike to even the count. One and one. The one one. Here's a bouncing ball and a chance for Guriel. It's short. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Now Stepping into the box, the Rafael Devers. Over two Rafael. from him so far in this one. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Strike taken up in the zone. Hit back up the middle. Guriel comes up with it. Throw just in time, and oh, that was awfully close. Digging in once again, Sandy Leon. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. First pitch coming, here it is. And a called strike down in the zone, nothing in one. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. And the pitcher got him swinging. Strike three, and the side is retired. Red Sox go down one, two, three. This game's all tied at four. Joe Jimenez please. is on out of the now, bullpen 54, now as he gets to work in his 60th game of the season. Joe Jimenez. Ready once again, number 13. He singled his last time up. First pitch of the at bat. Now an off-speed pitch gets the outside. It's a cold strike. Not too often you see a changeup come across at 88 miles an hour on the gun. Still effective when you're throwing a fastball in the high 90s, though. Behind 0-2 now. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot now to bad. say about that pitch Double that hasn't bad. been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand, so they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. Into the box now, Reese McGuire. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1 0. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Popped him up. Devers in foul ground. Into the stands. He got it. And now back to the leadoff spot in the Blue Jays lineup and stepping in. Kevin Pillar. Two hits in four attempts to this point. From the stretch, here's the pitch. 
There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Ready with the 0 and 1. Strike two. Hey, from an offensive standpoint, you better get it ready. This guy is not throwing a ton of pitches. He's confident in his stuff. He is pounding the zone. He's got two quick. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. Still all square at four apiece. So digging in now, Andrew Benintendi. And his guys need him to get things started here in the top half of the ninth. Here comes the first pitch. Ninth Aye. inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Swung on but fouled off to the left. Now the pitch. And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. Decided to go with a fastball there on 0 and 2, but what he's trying to do with that pitch is to expand the strike zone. Maybe you get a guy to offer at it, but at the very least, it helps set up your off speed stuff. Lays off 2 and 2 now. Kind of pitching him backwards in this AB. Soft stuff early, then those last two were fastballs trying to get it right by him. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Just missed with the 2 2 count, and it runs full now. From 0 and 2 to 3 and 2, what a great at bat to start this inning off. Hey, this could be a productive inning. Now the 3 and 2 pitch. And he lays off, ball four. Now the potential go ahead run is on base here. That's an excellent at bat right yeah, there. Fell behind it early piece. one and two. Didn't Just panic or start chasing pitches boy, out of the zone. Yeah. He's able to lay off three pitches in a row, and he's standing on first with no outs. That's a great job. In now, Dustin Pedroia trying to get that go ahead run to scoring position now as he puts this one down. Throw on to first in time, one away. So a big moment in the ball game here. Mookie Betts. And he could very well get the intentional pass here as that would set up a potential double play ball that might keep the game tied. Here's the first pitch. That one's down around the knees, taken for a strike. You know, you look at this hitter, he doesn't care about being down 0-1. He doesn't care about having two strikes with him. He's got the utmost confidence in his ability to work back into the count and get him something over the heart of the plate. The 0-1. Swing and a liner. But taken in over at first for the second out, as that might have been extra bases if it were three feet higher. The next will be the cleanup hitter, J.D. Martinez. It's his job to get something into the outfield and give that go-ahead run a chance to score from second. And there's the fourth wide one, so he's aboard on the intentional walk. Yeah, well, when a guy's swinging the bat as well as he's been, this is a Number smart two. move. No Gorky's reason to tempt fate out there. Gorky's Hernandez will be Ladies summoned now to be the pinch runner. Please. Now running at first for the Red Sox. Number 48. Gorky Fernandez. Stepping up to the plate, Xander Bogarts. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ballgame. Here's the first pitch. Breaking ball called just a bit low. This game is getting interesting real quick. And the last thing you want to do on the mound is fall behind. Needs to get back in the strike zone right here. Inner third let go. It's a called strike. Benintendi at second. Hernandez at first. Two out in the inning. 
And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Well, it's two and one now, and we haven't seen a fastball from him in this at bat yet. As a hitter, you've probably got to sit on that right now. The set and the two and one. Drilled to first. And that's through into right field for a base hit. Throw comes quickly to the infield, so that go-ahead run will have to hold up at third with two away. First game of a new series, and he's already sitting on three knocks right now. The pitching staff might have to make an adjustment going forward. So coming to the plate, Chris Taylor. His day at the plate hasn't amounted to much. 0 for 4, but this is a great opportunity to make amends. Well, when your team really needs you, like they need it right here, you have to be able to put your personal struggles out of your mind. Right now is all that matters. Here's the first pitch. Here's a line drive. That's down. It'll give him the lead and then some. The go-ahead run will score. Now a third runner heading for the plate. Now the relay home. And it's not in time. He's safe as they jump out ahead with three runs scoring on the play. Boy, those have to feel now really that. good, d -Row. You the get late in the game, you come up with a big mm. RBI base hit mm. right here to give your team the lead. Yeah, no one remembers that ground ball with eyes in the top of the second inning. You want to show up when the game is on the line. Can you You're quiet your emotions please. down, take the now crowd out of it, and slow yourself down enough to Double come through? Five. And that's exactly what he did. David, David Phelps takes over now oh. with two gone here in the top of inning number nine. Stepping in now, Steve Pierce, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Phelps. A right hander standing six foot three. He was taken in the 14th round during the 2008 draft. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. One and two now as that one's fouled off. The one two is swung on and missed. He got him. So three runs on only two hits in the inning. No errors and a runner left on. Two, three, and four set to kick off the bottom of the ninth. Boston's out in front, seven to four. Craig Kimbrell takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Late Devin Travis. It was a flyout for him in his last game. trip. Hey, not impossible, but highly Devin. improbable. Even when you're what at home trip. to score three runs off a closer like this guy, they've got the work cut out for him. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Not a bad idea right there. Make this guy work and see if he can throw the ball over the plate. Throws the first pitch for a strike. They need to get some runners on base. And not a bad plan. Unfortunately, the pitcher came in with a strike on the first pitch. And a foul pop behind the plate. Leon over to his left, one away. Third now with the plate, Brendan Rury is working Brandon. on a one for three thus Rory. far. First pitch of the at bat. Right hander against right hander, as this is a ball one and zero. Oh. You know, something to keep in mind. They're really burning through that bullpen, and this is only the first game of the series. Definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series, and maybe even the whole week ahead. Come on, face it now. The one and zero delivery. There's a belt high strike to even the count at one and one.
the 1 1 home. And it's fouled away. One out, nobody on. And he fouls this one off. Softly hit to short. Throw on to first, and now the Jays are down to their final out. The batter, the first base. So here's the cleanup hitter, Justin Smoke, and he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Uh, couldn't quite hold back that time as the changeup fooled him for strike one. Two out, nobody on. Outside for a ball, one and one. The 1 1 home misses for the second ball. The 2 1 is laid off of for ball number three. Well, this has been a good job to work the count from 0 and 1 to 3 and 1, and now he's really in the driver's seat to see a heater that he can do something with. Three balls and a strike. Here's the pitch. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed. And now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one. So, so now we've got a battle on our hands. Final strike for the Blue Jays. And this one misses high for ball four, and they have themselves a two out base runner. That is just a great at bat there. When you're down now late, you need base runners Number any way you can get them, and that never say die mentality could be the difference. We'll see how it plays out. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and that'll bring up Rowdy Tellez. Ready. Here comes the first pitch. And this pitch is right down the middle. Strike one. Here's the 0 1. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And this hops over the wall out there for a ground rule double. And maybe a tough break as that'll right please the runner at third 15. with two gone. Right There's one of the disadvantages right, right there, there to the ground rule double rule. With the runner on first, more than likely if the ball stays in the ballpark, he's going to easily be able to score. But once it bounces over the fence, it's only third base for that base runner. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. No doubt. Some saves come easier than others, and I know this all too well. They're really making wrapping this thing up a difficult task. And he misses again with it here. It's 3 0 now. So Oscar Hernandez would be next if they can keep this inning alive.
high chopper to third. Throw one to first, and the Red Sox have taken game one of the series on the road as the ball game is over. Just more of the same from Craig Kimball. He comes out of the bullpen and fires a scoreless ninth inning to pick up the save. Business as usual from one of the best in the game. Seven to four is the final score in tonight's game. The Boston Red Sox came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Joe Jimenez claims the win out of the pen his first. Craig Kimbrell wraps it up for the save his 28th on the season. So that's a wrap here tonight for Mark DeRosa Dan Plezak and Heidi Watney. This is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB the show for more find us on Twitter at MLB the show.